Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, I wanted to try doing some rainbow winged liner. As you guys know, I love doing just like bright neon makeup, but I wanted to try something more simple, not as like bright on the eyes and drastic, just something that's like cute and simple, just a little winged liner, but make it like a rainbow. So that's what we're gonna be attempting today. I thought about doing this not on camera, but I know a lot of you guys enjoy makeup videos and you guys ask for more of them. So I decided to attempt doing it on camera. A lot of this is going to be in real time. I'm not gonna speed through it because it's something new I've never done before. So we're gonna learn together. I have Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick and this is in the shade drug lord it is just his like bright white shade and then i also have some nyx professional liquid liner and this is just white so my game plan is to do a regular winged liner with just the white and then use my neon eyeshadow pigments to pack color on top of it that's what i'm thinking i don't know if that's gonna work out very well i might have to like mix the pigment in with some eyeliner and then paint it on We'll see. So I have this eyebrow brush I'm gonna be using cause it's like very tapered and angled. So it'll be easier for me to like draw on a wing and stuff. So as you can see, I've already done my base makeup and I've done my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. This one is in Dark Magic. I'm just gonna pick up this like very neutral vanilla tone. I'm just going in with a very fluffy brush and I'm just gonna set my concealer. I just want something that's going to set my lids so that way I don't get any creases. Now that that's done, we're gonna go in and do a normal winged liner, except for we're gonna use this white liner instead. I'm just gonna draw a normal wing. I'm gonna make mine a little thicker. This is also gonna be challenging because it's gonna get all over my eyelashes. Sorry, it's like impossible for me to talk and do eyeliner at the same time. so difficult. Okay, so we're starting to get a wing. My NYX liner is really dried out, so I think I'm gonna switch over to the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick. I'm gonna continue to use the NYX eyeliner brush and then just dip it into the liquid lipstick. Okay, that's working significantly better. Okay, so I think that eye is good. I'm gonna go ahead and start packing on pigment now because I feel like if this is still a little damp, the pigments will like stay a little bit more. So the NYX eyeliner that I was using is so dry, it's cracking and like flaking off. All right, there's the pink. I'm gonna stop there because I don't wanna like ruin anything. I'm gonna mix the pigments with a little bit of the liquid lipstick and just mix it into a paste and then put it on my eye and see if that helps at all. Okay, that definitely works better. The problem is the eyeliner underneath, the white is like cracking and flaking off and it looks so bad. All right, plans are changing. This is why I'm filming it is because it's trial and error. So I'm just gonna take a makeup remover wipe and wipe that off and then go in with Drug Lord and I'm gonna do it a section at a time. So apply the white, put the yellow on top and then apply the white, put the green on top. This is so dried out that nothing is going over the top of it and it's just cracking and flaking off. I'm not gonna wipe off all of it. I'm just gonna wipe off all the parts that were flaking and we're gonna work a section at a time, starting with pink. While it's still wet, we'll go in with my neon pigment. Oh, this is working way better. Next, we're gonna do orange. Wow, you guys, this is working way better than it was. I'm so happy this is working. I'm so excited. I would definitely recommend doing this before you do your foundation because you will get fallout since they're like loose pigments. I feel like this is looking really good. I'm very happy with this. See, it's quick once we figure out how to do it.
This would be way easier if you had um, Jeffree Star's Equality Lip Bundle. It has every color of the rainbow in it. There are just a few areas that I'm gonna go in and touch up. So I'm just gonna go back in with some eyeshadow and pack that over the top and see, that made that way better. I think I'm gonna do the other eye off camera real quick because it did take me quite a while just to do this one eye. So let me do that really fast and I'll be back. I have gotten the other eye done. This one looks better than this one, but honestly, I'm really happy with how they turned out for my first time. I should have watched other YouTube videos or like a tutorial on how to do this before I tried it. You can obviously add eyeshadow like under your eye or do whatever, but I really wanted it to be like simple and very minimal, just winged aligner. So now I'm going to put on mascara and eyelashes. I'm very interested to see how this look changes once I have lashes on. So I'm gonna be wearing my Makeup and Murder Evidence Marker 3 lashes. I'm gonna have to be so careful when I apply these lashes because this could go wrong so fast. I'm trying to get them as close to my lash line as possible. While I'm waiting for these to dry, I'm going to do an inner corner highlight and I'm gonna be using my Jaclyn Hill palette. This is an Armed and Gorgeous and I'm going in with this really bright white shimmery shade. And I think I'm gonna do just a little bit underneath my brow bone. To make my eyelashes blend in a little bit better, I'm just gonna go over them with some black eyeliner so that way you can't see the lash band as much. So here is the eyeliner. Okay, it's my first time, so be gentle on me. I'll work on it and get better. I think it's okay for my first time. Honestly, I don't think it's that bad. Definitely need some improving. I think it looks okay. What do you guys think? Let me know. The pigments that I used today are from Makeup or Murder. I do have a coupon code. I will leave their website and my coupon code in the description down below in case you are interested in trying them. The one thing I would do differently next time is I would use my black eyeliner and apply it like normal and then put my lashes on. So that way they're easier to cover and I'm not putting a black lash band on top of like something neon. Cause then it makes it way more obvious and if you place it a little bit crooked or something, it's very, very noticeable. So that's something that I'll change for next time. I also am going to watch some YouTube videos and see if there's a better way to do this or an easier way to do it. If you've done rainbow liner and you have an easier way of doing it, leave a comment down below letting me know what your method is. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to do a makeup video where I was trying something new with you guys. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and until next time guys stay weird I mean